having a bad day today. <laughs> My room is a total mess right now. It's super windy and stormy out right now and I think because of the wind it's causing a lot of issues with the power technically it's like flickering right now like all the appliances all the outlets and everything this is a little demonstration but I unplugged like most of my devices and stuff just because I'm a little scared <laughs> but my day is going way different than I planned it to be adding on top of all the electrical issues I found out that one of my plants has a severe infection of mealybugs and I looked at them. I looked at these little, little bugs right in the eyes. They were the juiciest, fattest mealybugs on my plant and so I just spent <laughs> like the last half an hour trying to deal with that. There were so many of them but I'm glad to have been able to kind of deal with them for now. My day is just going in so many different directions than I thought. Here I am now um, and I guess I'm going to try to make the best out of this stormy situation. I think Dumpling is enjoying it though. Look at this guy. Not even care in the world. I don't know what to do. I'm kind of feeling like super deflated by this power outage. I honestly might just go to sleep. It is 10 right now, so it's not too bad. I got a bunch of candles, so at least it feels a little cozier than before. Look at this boy. Even this guy is just all cozy. I feel like a poet, ready to speak some wise words of wisdom. Except I have no wisdom. My brain is very empty right now and I'm just ready to go to bed. <sighs> it's like only the beginning of strawberry season and I'm just already craving it, so I'm gonna be making strawberry sando. And I haven't done this before, but I feel like it could be easy enough. Oh no! <laughs> I didn't do a really good clean cut, but this is what it looks like, so I would say successful. I'm gonna try one out now. <laughs> the, the whipped cream is like pretty uneven. And maybe I should have waited a little more, but... Mm, that's good. <laughs> Hello, this is voiceover Vicky. I hope you're enjoying this little draw over as I'm working. I just wanted to quickly take some time to thank the sponsor of this video, which is FlexiSpot. I've been working with FlexiSpot for a while now, and they make rather cost-effective standing desks that are great for creating a comfortable and creative environment for your work-study needs. I've been using my FlexiSpot standing desk for a while now. This one's the standard standing desk E2, and it is a wonderful addition to my workspace. Their desks are made of bamboo desktops that are environmentally friendly and and durable. They also have a 30-day risk-free return policy, so I highly recommend giving it a try. So if you want to give it a try, I have a discount code down in my description below. Thanks again to FlexiSpot. And now back to the video. I had this keychain for a while, but I never really got around to decorating it, but it's like a cinema roll keychain. Look at him, so cute. And I decided to write thank you on it. I really don't understand how the stationary girlies do it because it was so hard to just like pick up the individual letters and put it on, but it turned out really cute. I decided I'm gonna put it on my phone. I've got this little like ring here for keychains. Ah. I miss the days of having a flip phone and having an absurd amount of keychains on it, but this fills the void again.
probably feeling the effects of a really strong matcha that I had this morning, but I'm currently planning a lot of just shop update ideas and just kind of planning my life. <laughs> I've been feeling kind of lost recently and I think that's just kind of a byproduct of uh, me ending my job at my latest animation gig. You know, it's always kind of like a hard transition out of like having a nine to five structured job into you know being my own boss full time again. I realize that this happens every time that I finish up a full time job. I get a little sick and then I get a little depressed and I kind of just feel very lost and confused and a little space time and earth. So today I'm just trying to find a little bit more structure in what I want to do going forwards. Thinking about what thanks you as a brand means as a whole and kind of just thinking about like ways of rebranding or revamping what I have so far and kind of just thinking more about like typography and tying everything together to be like a cohesive looking brand and also kind of just critically thinking like what exactly it is that I want to bring out in the world because I do a lot of very cutesy art and I you know I have a lot of love for my more cutesy more what do you call it brand friendly or whatever content but I also have like I don't know a lot brooding inside of me I've been thinking about how there's kind of been like a disconnect between like the ways that I sketch versus the ways that I make like final products. Recently I got into sketching again with this pen that I really loved in college. It's called the Pentel Sign Pen I think and it's felt tip and these are what the sketches look like. It's been like a really great way for me to kind of express how I observe the world and how I make my mark and you know here's some other sketches that I love dearly and I feel like these don't really connect as much. It's definitely kind of like the whole debate about like oh what if my style evolves but no one really wants to continue supporting that new style or so. So I'm kind of trying to find the thing that connects the two and kind of just finding room for both styles to flourish. I think I'm getting to the point of overthinking things, but I just wanted to spill out like what my brain is like. Ooh, that's the wrong way.
Look at this man. Hanging like a king. Hello. Good sir. <laughs> I was gonna get to drawing today, but I haven't really been in the mood yet, so I kind of started this side small project this morning and it is going getting back into crocheting. I just wanted to make some small things to start out. I'm like a very beginner crocheter so the only thing I can make are like blankets or like very simple stitch crochet stuff but I'm gonna make some flags for the next event that I'm going to. I'm gonna do a lot of prepping and artwork for this next convention. I'm gonna go down to LA soon and I'm gonna be taking place in Renegade Craft Fair. By the time I post this, the event's probably gonna be over but I don't know, I just kind of want to document um, all the things like leading up to this market. It's gonna be my first time tabling at a renegade type market. I'm just really happy to be getting back into tabling more like at a frequency that is more consistent than just like once a year or so. It really seems like I'm getting more into the groove of things here. And I have a few art markets lined up actually, so I have renegade in two weeks. And then I also have SJ made in about a month and a half from now. I thought up some table display ideas and just like thinking about having a cohesive overall theme. So this is somewhat of an idea. And then I bought these wooden displays that are like this shape and this shape for prints and other small things on this one. And I'm going to paint them and stylize them more to fit me as an artist, except I kind of planned it wrong because it's going to come a few days before the con so I hope that works out. If not, it's just going to be like, um, you know, like normal wood color. I think Dumpling's eating the bags, so don't mind the sounds. But I finally got a little more momentum to do some things. This is a new thank you card that I'm working on. I feel like it's rather cozy and sweet and somewhat sem sentimental because of the way that it's like very rough <laughs> in a playful way. But I'm gonna try to think about the illustration that goes with it on the front, but I think it might be like quilt themed. And then I also worked on something super secret. I was thinking about keeping this a secret, but I'm actually going to work on two enamel pins. But this will be the first enamel pin design, and I think this is really cute. It's like lavender bunnies, and I don't know, I think all the Sapphic girlies will love this. the reason why I do test prints. The colors are there, but there's a lot of streaking.
It turned out really nice, even though I had a lot of printing issues along the way. But this is the main sign. And then I've got different decals to go with it. Um, this one didn't print all the way, but these two are still usable, so I'm going to salvage what I can. It was about the same amount to rent a tent at the craft fair that I'm going to. So I decided maybe it's worth it to just have one of these for future outdoor events because I have a feeling that I'm going to try to do a lot more outdoor events. Look at this guy. Oh my god. I don't want to deal with this right now. Here's the tent part. And there's the bag. I've got to be honest, I've kind of given up on my crocheting project idea just because financially it wasn't the most reasonable of like projects to make <laughs> and then just physically i'm just not good at crocheting under pressure so i decided to scrap it for now but maybe i'll pick it up later on this week but instead i got a lot of felt and as you can see, I would have had to buy like way more yarn for this one small project in order to crochet it all, so I decided to do felt instead. I also picked up some other things that I think that would just like add to the table, like a simple little tabletop chalkboard. I think I'm going to put the prices on here. And then I got a bunch of paint for the larger display stands. Also I saw this, it's $2. It's so cute. It's gonna be so cute. <laughs> <laughs> frustrated like I spent ten dollars on this fabric glue and it's not staying up the internet lied to me I don't know what to do the only thing that the glue had stuck together is all the like tiny fabric pieces on my hand and it's like so hard to remove I'm just genuinely really frustrated but I guess I'll just try again tomorrow because that's all I can really do.
back at my parents' place in LA and it's nice to be back. It's rather quiet here. It's very beautiful. My mom and dad did a really wonderful job with the garden. I actually brought Dumpling along with me. He's been chilling and it's very beautiful back here. It's about two days before the Renegade Craft Fair and I'm kind of struggling to get things prepped honestly. It's been I don't know, a lot of chaos, I guess. But I did get a lot of things shipped to my parents' house because I didn't know if it was going to come to my place in time. So today is kind of just about getting the display ready. I ordered these wooden display shelves. I also invested in a terminal, a square terminal for taking orders. It's so cool! Look, it's so fancy! It's like an iPhone. <laughs> But I thought it'd be important to kind of invest in those things, especially since I want to be doing these type of fairs like more frequently in the future. But I feel like today would be a good day to just kind of mock trial it. I was thinking about painting these display shelves, but honestly, I'm a little too tired for that. And I think it'd be in my best interest to save it for another day. These are all the wooden display shelves. I got this at Joanne's. There's some nice little cubby shelves. I think I'm gonna put, I'm not actually sure what I wanna put inside of it. Let the unpacking begin. The instructions don't look too hard, but knowing me, it's gonna take some time. A lot of things are still kind of empty for now just because I'm not really fully sure where I'll be placing things but this is kind of an overview and I'm really loving how it's turning out. I think I definitely messed up and should have gotten the wider one of these because I have too many of these small prints and I'm not sure how I'm going to break up like which ones go in this one versus which ones are like the outliers. This one is still a work in progress and I'm not sure where to put this yet. I think I'm gonna be remaking this because it's still falling apart. So we'll put that there for now. This one was perfect because I have four washi tape designs total and it just fits each one perfectly. So I think that was a good buy. And I really love this little section here. It's gonna be thank you cards business cards and then here's just like a please pay here and then the little grass bunny will greet you as you pay. <laughs> Welcome to the thank you table. There's gonna be more changes throughout because I'm gonna have way more space than this. There's gonna be two tables so I feel like things will be you know moving around but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I feel like it just feels nice to plan out like a little bit of what it should look like before the day of the event just so everything's not, you know, trial by fire. <laughs> Thank you. 
cute. We out here, we cabling. This is so funny. You know a bunch of K-pop stars? Like, yeah. Like, yeah. They're just, they're, they have like their stick and they're like, this is hella cute. I've never seen this before. It's discontinued, that's why. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I got it off. Damn. Bye. It's hella cute. Yo, they're mine. Like, Cute. <laughs> it's been a chill day. Do you want to say hi? Hello. <laughs> so cute. It's been oh, slow hi. but fun. No, I'm after slay though. I know you're so slay. I'm so star. That's so cute. <laughs> Look at the nails. But, sorry, my thumb's missing. <laughs>